It's a huge challenge getting autonomous cars on the road. Some of the core sciences are literally single digit years old and it is a very, very similar challenge to what NASA had to deal with in trying to put a man on the moon. If you ask the mayor of any city what the biggest problem is, they're going to say it's the car. Cities are congested, they, uh, they're full of emissions. All those things we can change if we can deliver autonomy as a capability into our cities. Building self-driving vehicles in complex cities requires us to pull together lots of novel science. And so when we look across the globe and say, OK, where is that research? Where are these scientists? It turns out a disproportionate number of them are here in Europe. We're clearly coming late to the field. We actually think that's an advantage. It means we can access the latest ideas from academia and we've not invested in earlier ideas that don't work quite so well. And that means we end up being much more capital efficient in how we solve it. The key challenge we've got to solve is making our cars safe. So the only way we can really test our software and develop our software, in fact, is to do that in a simulated world. So the first thing we do is we test the software in kind of hyperscale. When we're happy, we put it into a proving ground, which is a kind of safe environment to test that. And when we're happy it works in the proving ground, then we can take it onto the public road for testing. Getting our cars on the streets of London was a massive step for us. Um, and we've now done thousands of hours of testing on public roads with all sorts of complexity. Barclays Private Bank connects us to the corporate banking capability of the whole Barclays Group, and it can help us raise the capital that we need. And a combination of those two things clearly can propel us even further than we might be able to achieve today. We aim to achieve putting driverless cars on the streets of London, and I think when we achieve that, we're really expecting to be the first company in Europe doing it.